Oh, yo. Oh. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. All right, so I'm on Reddit again. This time, I just searched aquariums. So the first one here says, "Does my barrel pond count?" So let's go ahead and just take a look at that. So this is pretty neat. So someone had actually managed to turn a barrel into a cute little goldfish pond. They got it planted. They got some lilies. They also got some other pond plants in here and they also have a cute little filtration system here that's disguised as a fountain and it looks really neat you know i wish i could have done something similar to this instead of getting a inflatable pool pond but hey i think there is still time for me to do something like this if you guys want me to make a small pond please let me know and i could probably set it up somewhere in my apartment i'm not sure where but i'm pretty sure i can make room for it also i did make a pond out of my bathtub a few months ago if you guys want to check that out i'll leave a link in the description i'll also leave a card up here on the top right hand corner you guys can check that out please do it was a really good video it got a decent amount of views so please give that video some more views i think it deserves more views so make sure that you guys check that out all right so the second one here is called nosy neighbors let's check this out this one has a lot of upvotes so this is a gif and <laughs> so this person has an aquarium with some cave huts and some tetras in there they're all just camping out in their little caves. This is so cute. This makes me want to get me some of these tetras. Oh my god, I love this so much. Let me know if you guys think I should uh, get some of these for my 10 gallon tanks and put them in with my uh, platies, with my Mickey Mouse platies. If you guys agree with that, leave a comment down below and let me know. Alright, so this one here says, so a few years ago my mom decided to surprise my dad by putting a couple of Walmart goldfish in his large pond. She forgot about them. He never saw them until he drained it for maintenance. Surprise! Alright, let's check this out. This one should be good. Uh, this one was submitted a year ago. Wow, holy crap. Okay, I really like this goldfish right here. I'm not a big fan of goldfish, but jeez, man, that black and gold one right there is beautiful. This one's beautiful too, but holy moly. So I'm assuming that these were fantails at one point, very small fantails, and they just got huge. Maybe I should do a goldfish pond, but you know what? I don't I don't know if I really want to go through that whole process again, but like I said, if you guys think I should create like a smaller pond in my apartment just let me know so this one here says this guy has a pet giant fresh way fresh way subway eat fresh okay this guy has a pet giant fresh water stingray let's check it out so this is a gif and yeah that that's a giant stingray right there that guy is really brave to put his hand in there and the hand feed his fish like that because uh that stingray could easily just stab him oh my gosh oh my gosh oh whoa oh yo oh okay that stingray really loves his owner because if that was me that stingray would have ate my whole hand that's that's for sure he, he's even allowed to pet it too that's real love right there that's real fish love right there guys they have a strong bond together this one here says my son's bedroom tank it's not my style but he loves it let's check it out so this one got a lot of upvotes it's just a spongebob fish tank why did this get so many upvotes i don't know this is kind of goofy that lady said it's not her style it's definitely not my style either I and mean, you also got some live bearers over here i definitely don't like this tank not hating just not my taste sorry y'all this one here says saw this at my local pet shop so let's check this out. So it says here, a goldfish cannot live a long, healthy life in a bowl or small aquarium kit. At maturity, please allow 20, 30 gallons of water per goldfish. I definitely agree with that. Um, and it seems like a lot of people are agreeing with that too. Definitely don't keep your goldfish in bowls. And a lot of these reaction videos that I do on these Reddit posts, um, a lot of people put goldfish in bowls and they just end up dying. So don't do it. It's not good for the goldfish. Please make sure that you have a big aquarium for the goldfish. This one here says, this is Mr. Fishy. I've had him for 12 years. He's moving out to a friend's pond today to be with other fish and I will miss him. Let's check him out. 12 years, that's a really long time. Wow, that's a beautiful goldfish right there. I can't accurately see how big he is because this is a photo and there's nothing to compare his size to. But judging from the scales, he seems like he's going into his grandpa stage right now. Uh, this one here says, finally got these guys settled in and eating. 
Let's check these out. Wow, those are a beautiful group of t uh, discus. So he bought a red discus, peach, tan, yellow. I don't know the technical terms for the colors of these guys. Like I know one of these is pigeon red like this one and that's like red melon this one probably a blue diamond or a cobalt blue i'm not sure some of you discus experts in the comments please give me the right names for these guys either way these are beautiful fish i've had two discus before and i made a mistake of just having two in an aquarium and they ended up dying because with discus you gotta have at least like six or more grouped up together you don't want to keep them with other fish that are aggressive eaters because that will really intimidate them during feeding time and it will stress them out and when they when they are stressed out they won't eat and if they don't eat they get sick and they die uh, discus are really shy fish and they just require special care and losing discus is one of the worst feelings in the world because these guys are really expensive so you don't want to you don't want to lose a discus you want to make sure that you're able to care for these guys this one here says i noticed that my axolotl likes watching me in the kitchen so i got him a drinking bird to watch during the day so let's check this out so this is a gif and uh, <laughs> oh that's so funny look at the axolotl in the corner he is so intrigued by this thing right here oh man this makes me want to get an axolotl this one here says ta-da all right let's check it out this one got a lot of upvotes and <laughs> so so the axolotl is just in a cool little pose right here this is such a funny pose i love it all right so this one here says last picture of my tank before i had to evacuate houston water was at our door and rising fast i love that so that's really sad oh my god that's a beautiful tank and you had to just leave that thing dude that's such a bummer I couldn't imagine just that happening to my aquarium. Like if there was like a flood and my 125 gallon tank was going to drown. I mean, I know the fish would be safe because obviously they can live in water, but for me to lose my 125 gallon tank, that thing built my YouTube channel to where it's at now. I know my YouTube channel is not that big or impressive, but for me to have 26,000 subscribers because of that tank, is a lot to me that means a lot so if i were to lose it that would be very devastating to me but this is a beautiful tank i really love the decorations here and the background i wonder if that background is real or fake but either way this is truly inspiring i hope this inspires some of the viewers watching this now if you're struggling with aquascaping and how to decorate your tank like me um hopefully this gives you some motivation and inspiration so this one here says dad turned an old cabinet into an aquarium okay so pretty much it looks like what they did is they might have modified this but they added an aquarium into this little space here i'm not exactly sure how they did it um but either way this looks really cool i like it i like the design on this i really like the tank too i, I just wish they had like a closer view of this tank so we can see what kind of fish is in there but that one looks like a goldfish so i can only assume that there's a bunch of cold water fish in there. So this one here says, I have over 30 fish, but she has very quickly become my favorite. Oh, such a cute little puffer. Man, puffer fish are definitely one of the fish on my list of fish to get. I think I've mentioned this before, but I have like a bucket list of fish that I want to get before I pass. Um, not saying I'm gonna pass soon or anything like that. I'm just saying like before my time runs out whenever that is I want to try to keep as many fish as I can and these guys are definitely one of the fish that I want to keep uh, This one here says when I need to do stuff around the house the solution fish Let's check it out. This one got a lot of upvotes <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. So pretty much what the title is saying is that when the per when this person needs to do like some chores or some cleaning around the house um, to keep the baby from distracting her or from crying um, she has the aquarium um, occupied the baby which is pretty smart some babies um, they love aquariums and they'll just sit there and stare at it for hours same thing with cats you got an annoying little cat sit them down right in front of an aquarium or put them on top of the aquarium and i guarantee you they are not leaving that aquarium for a long time unless you can convince them to leave that thing but aquariums they're really fun to look at even for babies future hobbyists right here 
This one here says, more photo whoring. This guy has been super fun to shoot. Oh my God, that is a beautiful beta. What kind of camera is this person using? You can see like every little detail on here. That's just simply amazing. What kind of beta fish is that? Is that a dragon scale beta? Correct me if I'm wrong guys and excuse my ignorance when it comes to the variants of betas. But that's why I have you guys because you guys will correct me. Check it out guys. So we got a mama discus and we have baby discus just feeding off the slime coat. It's, I've always been interested with how um, discus take care of their kids. It's so much different than angelfish taking care of their kids. Angelfish, what they'll do is um, first few weeks, the first two weeks, they'll have the babies just follow them around and they'll take care of them and they'll make sure that you know they're not being killed by gravel and stuff like that. But after two weeks, they just forget all about them and they will either eat them or they'll just find them annoying and just you know get away from them at least with my experience that's how it's been with uh, breeding angelfish but this case it looks like it's totally different it looks like they care for their young a lot more um, has anyone here ever had experience with discus taking care of their fry full-time? Do they take care of them until they reach adulthood or how does it work? Someone please let me know in the comment section down below.